Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight. Today we're going to be taking a look at the energy storage device in thermal expansion. Now this is a, a block that will basically store Billcraft energy for you. Um, and we have here on the left hand side we have an empty one. And on the right hand side we have one that's fully charged. Now there's not a huge amount of difference between them. I think the one on the right is slightly brighter. Um, but otherwise they look the same. Now they do have an interface and on this interface what you can see is the amount of energy that is stored uh, currently. You have uh, you can set the maximum input so as much energy as it as you want it to take. Now it may be that you've got um, a bank of Billcraft engines that are powering something else and you want to take a certain amount of it and put it into storage but you don't want this energy cell to be taking all of that power um, you can limit the amount of energy that this will uh, this will take uh, by using the plus and minus arrows here uh, also you can set the output as well so you can change the maximum output so if you were going to be using them on say a quarry you would set the max output to 10 um, just so that you can limit the amount of power that is going out at any one time. Now as you can see this will store 500,000 uh, Minecraft joules which is an awful lot of power um, so once you've got these charged up they should uh, should be able to keep going for quite a while. Now this third block here this is basically um, the energy conduit this is uh, the equivalent of a a gold conducted pipe I guess for thermal expansion um, and as you can see well you'll be able to see there's like a little arrow thing here um, if you right click you can turn that around and that is basically going to tell you which way around uh, which direction the power is going to flow so that way you can have completely separate input to your output um, which is, is quite useful you can uh, it may catch you out occasionally though if you've got these set wrong or if you need to break uh, a conduit for any reason and, and replace it you'll need to make sure that you uh, reset the directions facing the right way now the actual crafting process for these guys are it's, it's quite involved um, so we'll, we'll have a quick look at that um, basically you need electrum ingots um, here this is the, the recipe for the actual storage frame now you need electrum ingots for this which is pulverized gold and pulverized silver uh, combined to make an electron blend you then just um, you just smelt that um, and you get your ingots now the other component for this is hardened glass now for hardened glass we need to use an induction smelter and you basically put pulverized obsidian together with either pulverized lead which we will uh, should see here just going to give us some hardened glass there or with lead ingots and lead ingots will give us hardened glass as well and like so so either one uh, you will need to pulverize obsidian though so you're going to need a pulverizer to to get either of uh, those two components um, created so you're going to need to pulverize pretty much obsidian silver gold and lead to get that uh, plus it's going to take a diamond and that will give you a storage frame now the actual uh, conduits you can get empty conduits with electrum ingots and hardened glass so it's similar to a, a regular pipe recipe from Billcraft but you're just using the thermal expansion equivalents now once you've got them you will have your empty conduits and you'll have a an energy storage frame 
like so. Now, in order to fill that up, all you need to do is you need to put a redstone into a magma crucible, and if we just toggle the output off of off of that for now, uh, what you'll see is you'll see um, some redstone, some molten redstone, should uh, start showing up in here. Now, what you need to do is you need to use a liquid transposer here to fill up these uh, these conduits, like so. And then these filled conduits are placeable, and the energy frame you fill the same way. Should fill the same way. Why is that not working? Let's take uh, an actual crafted one, just in case there is something wrong with that. Right, that should should be working. Maybe uh Well, it's not using any power, so I don't know why that's not filling that up. Uh it should in fact fill up your uh Ah, I see. Maybe uh the problem here is we don't actually have enough fluid in there. So let's make that the um the output, get this filled up and when that fills up hopefully hopefully that's going to uh, start filling and it's not is it? Wow. Okay, a little derp there by me, I missed out a step. Um, what we actually need is we need an energy storage empty so I completely missed out this step where you put an electrum ingot above the frame a uh, load ingots on either side and a redstone conductance coil underneath to give you your energy storage empty there now this we should be able to uh, fill in here and once that's filled up that is going to give us a redstone energy cell which is not charged so yeah, the process for making this then is you get all your uh, all your ingredients together, and I've I've taken that recipe away, um, and then you put that energy frame with those pieces, then fill it up with um, with molten redstone, and then you finally finally got your energy cell, and then you can set about filling it up which we have here. This one's in the process of being filled up. Uh, as you can see, I've got all of these with all the arrows pointing the right way. Set to fill this up with the arrow pointing in. And then I can, if I so desire, set this to go out. And now the induction smelter will only require two so I can set that is it to maximum power is 4 so we can only uh, set this to 5 as a min minimum I think I don't think there's any way of me uh, changing that to uh, single, single uh, Minecraft jewels um, the other thing that I should add with this is that if you were to pick this up uh, you shift right click uh, you actually, the block will keep its power when you pick it up and then when you place it back down again it will carry on doing its thing from where it left off so it's it keeps its power so that way you can have um, a buildcraft uh, engine set up uh, filling up these uh, energy blocks which you can then move around as you please to uh, to various other parts of your uh, your setup which I can see being extremely useful indeed um, but that is that's the energy storage cell for thermal expansion which everybody has been asking me about um, 
finally got around to doing it. As you can see, it's it's quite an involved process just to get the block, but then once you've got the block, um, it is extremely useful. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, if I've missed anything out, please let me know in the comments. Also, hit that subscribe button, follow me on uh, on Twitter as well, and over on Twitch. I stream every night at 7 o'clock, uh, so feel free to join me there whenever you like. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.